immortality. Do you ever wonder what happens after death? For some animals, though, the only thing waiting for them is life. These are the unique creatures on Earth that just keep going even after their heart stops beating. Some can practically live forever. Others can be brought back to life after being frozen. Follow me in the search for immortality and let's look at the animals that live after death. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. African Longfish As humans, we need daily intake of water and food to be healthy. Looking like a cross between a long catfish and an eel, the African longfish can go years without food or water. It's all thanks to the ability to remain in suspended animation. While hiding in the African sun-baked mud, in this state, they produce less waste and are completely inactive. Scientists and doctors alike have studied the fish in hopes of making advances in medicine and space travel. Suspended animation could make surgeries more successful and space travel more accessible. Fruit fly. Eating fruits, so delicious and refreshing on a hot summer's day. Even butterflies love to eat the fresh fruit. So what could ruin your happy moment? Not the butterflies, no, fruit flies to be exact. Fruit flies love fruit. Wadding at a fly may be a lost battle, especially since if you cut its head off, they can still go. Females have a secret to surviving that little incident. Female fruit flies can survive without their heads. They are able to survive because they keep an extra brain in their body. Plus, they have an extra pair of eyes in their kidneys. So if the fruit flies find themselves headless, they can even fly and walk. Males still do try to mate with them, but without their antennae, they can hear the chirping of the males. So the next time you're getting rid of the fruit flies, just use a home remedy or an exterminator. Scorpions. If you could choose one thing to eat for an entire year, what would it be? But think carefully because that will be the only meal you will eat for an entire year. You wouldn't just be starving, you will perish. The longest a human can go without eating is a month on average. Scorpions, though, can slow down their metabolism to the point that they can survive of a single insect for an entire year. These animals are the masters of adapting. Perhaps that's how they survive for hundreds of millions of years. They can live in most temperatures and environments. A scorpion was even frozen before and came back to life. After thawing, it walked away like nothing had ever happened, and it sustained no injuries. To Retopsis, we have been obsessed with immortality and a never-fading youth. That's why some people still search for the mythical fountain of youth. A certain jellyfish, though, has found its own way to live young forever. Medusas, magical animals that look like gelatin moving through the water in groups. Some even have complex patterns that look alien, but few can reach immortality, reversing completely to an immature state after reproducing. About the size of a pinky fingernail, the Turritopsis, or the immortal jellyfish, are able to keep themselves from dying. When they become sick or injured, they endure a reverse aging process that brings them back to their polyp stage. The jellyfish then can start all over again with younger cells. They become adults, and the process continues in a never-ending cycle. Now, if only we could do that too. I guess we're gonna have to settle for anti-wrinkled gels instead. Alligator. Alligators have survived Earth's drastic changes from the dinosaur's era to right now, adapting to the changes in their environment as time goes by. Alligators enjoy living in tropical regions of the world. The southern U.S. states have their share of alligators, and we humans have learned to stay away. Their bite is deadly. But how have they been able to survive for so long? In the winter months, snow hits the northern parts of the U.S., and animals like bears and foxes have adapted to the low temperatures. Many of them hibernate or may even wander in the winter wonderlands. But what happens to alligators when the occasional frigid winter temperatures hit their habitats? Alligators have a hidden strategy. Before water freezes, 
at just the right moment, they stick their snout out of the water, and the water freezes around it. They're able to breathe with their noses up in the air. The alligator goes into brumation, which is similar to hibernation. As the temperature drops, they become more lethargic to save up their energy. Once the water thaws out, so do the alligators. Then they'll return to their normal lives. These frozen predators will be back out hunting when the waters thaw. Possum and the hognose snake. You cannot run death, or so they say. Sometimes you can't hide from it, though. There are animals that can play the game of surviving by looking pretty expired. Covering a large territory of the Americas, there is a particular snake that has an impressive skill. When feeling threatened, most snakes coil up to get ready to strike. Others have mastered the play dead technique. Hognose snake releases blood to make it smell deceased. Predators smelling the snake move on because they don't want to catch any disease this thing may have. But marsupials don't stay behind. Possums also play the game using their own stinky scent. When animals believe the possum is long gone, they don't bother it. The possibility for disease is too high. It seems like the hognose snake and the possum are able to avoid the dinner table and live a lot longer. Tardigrade. Humans, we think we're at the top of the food chain and we're strong and we use tools and we can survive a lot. We have been around for thousands of years. But are we truly the best? What if there is an animal that can top even the best superpowers any superhero has? Meet the microscopic beast to all coming from the depths of the ocean. Meet the tardigrade, also known as a water bear, a microscopic animal that is probably the most powerful animal on the planet. It has a scrunch of face and a body and short little legs that look more like a six-legged pig than a bear. These little cuties start to outlast us all. They may be little, but they sure are tough. These little guys can endure the volcanic thermal vents at the bottom of the ocean. They can even survive in outer space and radiation just fine. Water bears are nothing to be trifled with. You and I will be long gone, but their species will continue to live somewhere in the universe. Octopus. For all the world's travelers out there, you probably have your fair share of stories from the countries you've visited. One of the greatest things about traveling is the food. Food can be so different everywhere. Well, adventurous eaters from all over the globe come to Korea and have a bite of the traditional dish called sanaki. This dish is chopped octopus that arrives squirting on the plate. That's some really fresh food. If you are wondering how it's possible for your food to still be moving, an octopus stores most of its central nervous system in the tentacles. The tentacles know they're in danger and they're trying to escape. Take extra care when eating sanaki. The suckers still suction and can cause you to choke on the octopus. Snake. We all have seen a zombie movie or two before. The dead unwillingly comes back to life and attacks. If you're a zombie fiction connoisseur, then you know that the only way to extinguish a zombie is by separating the head from the body. If you do that to a snake, though, you may be in for a rude awakening. A snake's head has heat pits that sense the world around them. If these heat pits are triggered, the snake feels threatened and instinctively strikes. Unfortunately for us, this reaction remains even if the head is not attached to the body. But what about the snake's venom? If the snake happens to bite you after its head is detached, you will still have the venom to contend with. It's best to leave snakes alone. Siberian permafrost worms. Have you ever been so tired that you sleep for an entire day? When you woke up, you probably felt groggy and out of it. Well, these Siberian permafrost worms have been sleeping for over 40 thousand years frozen in Siberia. The nematodes look like worms, but much smaller. These worms are only one millimeter in length, but they can live almost a mile below the surface. 
After scientists thought out the worms, they naturally began moving around. They even resumed their eating habits. These worms have been waiting for many millennia just to wake up and make their appearance once again. Frog. Winter versus summer. Which one is your favorite? Most of us choose the sun, the waves, a warm day. That's why many of us travel to warmer climates during the winter months. Some people even go to the beach or on a cruise for Christmas and the winter holidays. In Canada, it seems cold all the time. Animals like the Arctic wolf or the elk have for sure adapted to the temperatures. Even amphibians like frogs have adapted to it. You may think they go and hide. Instead, they allow themselves to freeze through the winter. They have a secret weapon. They self-produce an antifreeze that is stored in their cells, preventing ice from forming on their internal organs. During this state, the frog does not breathe and their hearts do not beat. However, when spring comes, the frogs thaw out and return to normal, signaling the beginning of Canada's spring. Brain There's some things that are hard to talk about, like what happens after we pass away. This is never an easy subject for us humans. A question we often ask ourselves is, what happens after? While we don't have any definitive answers about a possible afterlife, one thing we do know. Even after the heart stops beating, the brain continues working for a few minutes. Following the heart stopping, brain activity actually seems to spike. It can even experience consciousness. This is why you may hear some people say they remember the moment when they should have been clinically dead. Ants. Seeing an ant at home, you know just how difficult it can be to get rid of them. For good reason too. They have a knack for survival. Ants can sniff out diseases in their own species better than doctors on diagnostic tests. When a fellow ant does have a disease, other ants will exterminate the contagious ant and therefore assuring everybody else will survive. Ants can also survive in a variety of climates. Of course, they can live in tropical, subtropical areas and temperate zones, but they can also live in the desert. But what if ants are better swimmers than you? You may think that ants can't survive in water, but they can. They get working as a team. Ants get together and form what looks like a giant raft, moving over the water with ease. Ants are the best and most organized team that has ever existed. Individually, not much, but together are a force to be reckoned with. Call it immortality or the fountain of youth, but these unique animals have found ways to live after death. Hopefully we can learn something from them and adapt it to our own lives. Thank you for watching and until next time. Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos.